built for adventure with the ability to go off-road, this is the van you've been waiting for. What is this, you ask? Well, this is the 2025 Eddie Bauer 19EB. And this bad boy is built on the Mercedes-Benz 2500 all-wheel drive chassis with a 144-inch wheelbase. If you take a look at the front end, it's absolutely gorgeous, lifted from that all-wheel drive, but they do give you this step here, so if you're out on the trail, you need an extra little boost to be able to clean off the windshield, that gives you that. Also, if you are on the trail, you need a little extra visibility. See that kind of black bar up there? That's actually a cover. You can remove that. That is a giant spotlight so you can see what is in front of you. And again, you can take a look at the rugged off-road tires there. Hey, we have that lift. The Again, just sturdy running boards on here, which makes it nice and easy to climb into the passenger seat, the driver's seat, or the main part of the RV. A couple of quick things I do want to hit on while we're here, just because it's easy to see. You will see your power control for all of your lumbar support. The control for the seat itself on the Mercedes will actually be located right up here. You do have uh, like six-way power, which is fantastic. This one also has heated mirrors on there. So if you're traveling in the cold, you want to be able to defrost those bad boys, pop those on. Now, if we take a look kind of at the main entrance, as you would expect, you have a screen. So you can drop this screen down, be able to get a wonderful breeze through here, especially when you open up the back with that screen as well. But my other favorite part is this right here. You can drop this down. You have the prep area, a little bit of uh, space to hold like spices, whatever else you may have out here. And then you have this, which is adjustable and you'll see these throughout. And of course you can add different points if you want, if you have other things you want to add in here. Uh, but we can see here that it is easy to operate. You also have 120 outlet there plus dual USB port and underneath just a tiny bit of additional storage. Right up top is the Thule power awning. One touch of a button and that rolls out. Same thing to have it come right back in. Super simple and easy to use. And you will see you have anchor points on the coach. That way it gives it some extra stability. You will also see that you have your electrical outlet in the back if you need to plug anything in. On the back here, Nice big windows, lets you get great visibility, lets a lot of light in. We kind of see that throughout. You will also see the backup camera up top and you have the low pro AC up there. As we open this up, you'll notice a couple different things. One, I kind of want to start down low and that's the fact you have a step. Again, because it is lifted, a little bit tougher to get into, to give you this step to just get that little bit extra to climb up in. You'll also see underneath that is the hitch, 5,000 pound hitch there with a uh, seven way. So if you need to tow something behind you, you have the capability to do that. Now the bed, I will show you when we're inside kind of how that system works, but this is really the hard of the 19EB. This is what it's all about, is open space to be able to take bikes, be able to take kayaks, longboards, be able to take whatever you want on your adventure. And again, you will see that same tie down system I had mentioned earlier on both sides here, so you can uh, safely travel with those. You will also notice electrical outlet back here, 120, 12 volt plus a spray port. Uh, so just to have uh, some additional outlets while you are sleeping in the bed. And again, you have that screen you can drop down to be able to get that excellent cross ventilation. If we take a look kind of coming around to the off camp side, you will see the city water fill. You also have gravity fill here. You'll see where this bumps out a little bit. That's to give you a little bit more space in the bed. At six foot, I can fully lay down in there, which is pretty impressive. You will also see your cassette style toilet. That's where we'll empty that out at. And then you have uh, solar prep as well as cable plug in 30 amp right there and then storage for your sewer hose. All right, as we take a look in the back, there are a few things that I wanna point out. The first one is going to be these access panels. I actually really like what they've done. You have your uh, little knobs right here and it's just magnets. So that way it's super easy to access and put these back when you're done. You can see your uh, lithium battery located right there. Now, to make the bed up, it's actually pretty simple. What you're going to do is you will unbuckle these here. That will free this up. You can see that just drops right into place, just like that. 
You can then undo the net here, drop this down, and then we're going to essentially have three cushions. This first one, you're gonna take the cutouts, you're gonna put the cutouts along the wall, you will then have a center section, you will then have another section with cutouts, and just like that, you're good to go. A couple lights right up here underneath all of this great storage, and then to hop up in here, just to kind of show you, and again, like I said, at six foot tall, I can actually fully stretch out, which again is pretty impressive. All right, let's talk a little bit about the cab. Uh, we'll start with the steering wheel, leather wrapped. You have essentially your basic commands on here, right? You have uh, cruise control. You will see Bluetooth capability. Back here, you can control your wipers. Although if you've never used the Mercedes before, it is a little bit different to shift. You basically push down to put it in drive, up for reverse, then push in the button uh, to put it in park. So a little bit different than a lot of other systems out there. Also, you can see that this one does have tilt as well as telescoping. So you can kind of set it at your comfort level, which is pretty nice when we're talking about RVs because that's not always the case. And then we have the center dash. Uh, Mercedes definitely has a pretty nice touch screen on here. Everything from media to navigation is built in right there. Volume control, as you would expect. And then we can see our thermostat controls are going to be right down underneath, along with some of our uh, cup holders. As I mentioned previously, the uh, controls for your seats will actually be located right here. So you can see the nice power controls. And then both seats on the opposite side will actually be able to control lumbar support, which is a pretty nice feature. And both of these seats do swivel around so you can utilize this as living space when you're parked. All right, right over to this side is going to be the bathroom. You can see that it is a wet bath. As we mentioned, they have the cassette toilet there and also the drop down airplane sink. In the bathroom, you can see there is the cassette style toilet in this wet bath, toilet paper cover there, airplane style sink, which is nice and easy because it folds up. And then of course we can see the shower head as well as the mirrored medicine cabinet and the vent fan right up top. Then as we take a look at the kitchen of the Eddie Bauer, the first thing that's pretty neat is the refrigerator. You see it's very unique because, well, it opens from both directions, which is pretty nice, especially because this is a little bit tighter of a spot here. You will also see that you have some additional storage right up top. Uh, the microwave will be located up here. Right underneath the microwave is an electrical outlet, and that's gonna be important because, as we take a look at the main prep space here, you'll say, well, Ian, there's nothing to cook with. Well, that's where you're wrong because, well, you see, there is this single burner induction cooktop. You can place this bad boy right here, plug it in right there, and now you are good to go. You'll also notice that you have a single basin sink. It does come with the cutting board, which is nice. It also has the cutout, so it basically lines up perfectly with your sink top cover. Underneath that is the undermount stainless steel bowl because you have the pressed thermoform countertop. And then you will notice that the faucet is a high-rise pull-out extension faucet here. Little bit of storage up above, and again, you have three large drawers underneath that sink. Now, most adventures aren't the most fun when you travel alone. So naturally, you want to take some people with you. And in the 19EB, you have space to do that. You have two seatbelts here so people can buckle up. You have a table here as well. So whether you need to do some work or just sit down and have a snack, this gives you the spot to do it. You'll also see right up above is the TV. And because we have that 3000 watt inverter, there is an inverted outlet behind it. So you are able to operate that TV even without having shore power. And you can just pull this right here and be able to swing that TV arm around. So if you're laying in bed, you can still watch it. Right here at the entrance, we're going to have a couple different things. One of them is going to be your aqua hot system. So this runs off diesel, and this will be both your heat for the coach as well as the heat for your water. Right down underneath that will be your multiplex uh, wiring system here, which basically controls the vast majority of things in your coach. Things like tank heaters, water pump, even your uh, kitchen fan to raise it up and down, your awning. All of your lights will be in here as well. The electrical, all of your climate control. Like I said, basically everything for the coach will be located conveniently right as soon as you walk in. From biking to longboarding to kayaking to trailblazing, the Eddie Bauer 19EB just may be your best friend to get you there. Now, if you're looking for something maybe a little bit bigger, a little more spacious, well, I got an Eddie Bauer for you too, coming up next.